in the simple terminology, I will explain everyone. Uh, simple terminology, I will explain. Example, <clears throat> concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Example, uh, what is my company called? Example, I'm telling. My company code is called PM10. PM10. And uh, for this company code, uh, PM Steel's Private Limited. Example, let it be PM Steel is private limited. So this is my company code. For this company code, what is the local currency? Local currency is called INR. Everyone, concentrate everyone. Local currency is called INR. For this company code, local currency is called INR. So this, everyone, be active, huh? be active. Just catch the point here. Just catch the point here. For example, for this company, PM Steel's Private Limited Company, want to do the sales, want to do the sales to China. Example, to China want to do the sales to China country. So on the sales invoice, which currency we need to specify? Which currency we need to specify? Yuan. Yuan. Yuan, China currency. Yuan, China currency. Example, this company want to sales, example, uh, UK, want to sales UK. So on the document, which currency we need to specify? SGD. Euro. Huh? Pound. UK, Pound. madam. Pound. 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 Pound, actually. Pound, sir. Pounds. GBP. GBP, actually. Great Britain Pound, like that they will call it. So what is this? What is this GBP? GPP is called document currency. Or transactional currency everyone document currency or transactional currency example everyone example i want to purchase example this company want to purchase from us from us on the purchase document maybe it will be on the usa i mean a dollar dollar usd usd what you people want to understand? What you people want to understand here? Example, this is called local currency. This is called local currency. And this is called document currency. This is called document currency. If you post accounting entry, if you post accounting entry, the value should be reflected local currency the as well as document currency one more currency also will come that is called group currency but just try to understand local currency and document currency now and group currency discussions will come later for example if you post any accounting entry means example the value should be reflected local currency and as well as document currency also so where is the gap here so you need to guide the system you need to compare the system actually you need to compare the system then only it can be reflected so one usd equal to how many rupees one usd equal to how many rupees example your currency your document currency example uh, gbp so one INR or one GBP equal to how many rupees? One INR equal to how many? Sorry, one GBP equal to how many rupees? And uh, example, everyone. For example, my document currency is called uh, yes GBI bill, Singapore dollar. Uh, Singapore dollar example. Example, Singapore dollar. So one Singapore dollar equal to how many INRs? So what you want to doing here? 
we are comparing we are comparing non local currency to local currency <laughs> everyone concentrate here concentrate here we are maintain the value maintain the value one is to one methodology one currency to another currency non local currency to local currency what is our local currency local currency is inr what is our non local currency maybe usd maybe a china currency maybe singapore currency maybe uh, you know uk currency maybe other currencies why why this non local currency also required in this scenario why non local currency is required means so we are in case in case if you are doing your uh, in case if you are doing all activities within the country for example i required the reports only local currency i required i am doing all the type of activities all type of activities within my country i required the reports only within my country i don't want required any other reports that time you are not required to maintain the exchange rates in case in case if you want if you do the activities only within the country if you required the reports within the country if you required all the objectives within the country then not required to maintain exchange rates not required to maintain exchange rate why because local currency we already maintain during the company code creation in case in case your company is global company you are doing the transactions entire world that time the values values want to reflected local currency then other than local currency value your transaction business transaction value want to reflected local currency then other than local currency also that time you want to maintain exchange rate for example for example i am doing the sales sales to usa sales to usa sales to usa so in the in the sales document which currency i need to maintain usd what is my local currency inr so i want to maintain now so this document want to reflect it the value want to reflect it usd value inr value so in the background as a consultant i want to maintain i want to maintain one usd equal to how many rupees then only system will going to convert then only system will going to convert everyone are you following everyone yes no okay Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. Yes sir. So now my target is now my target is to maintain exchange rate. Is this session recording? Go on mute. Go on mute, sir. To maintain exchange rate, one currency to another currency, non-local currency to local currency. non local currency to go on mute sir ji please please when better non local currency to local currency. actually the guy is asking whether the session is recording or not sir ji please go on mute sir ji please please i will give you time to speak please sir so everyone concentrate everyone now my target is my target is note it down everyone note it down note it down one note Note it on one note. Note it on the note. Exchange rate. Exchange rate. Exchange rate. Nothing but. Nothing but. value between any two currencies 
value between any two currencies. Value between any two currencies. If you post any accounting entry, if you post any uh, next line, note it down. Next line, like that. Next line, note it down. If you post any accounting entry, or next point like that, whatever. If you post any accounting entry, full stop, that accounting entry value reflected, that accounting entry value reflected, local currency transactional currency and group currency and group currency can you please repeat local currency local currency transactional currency or document currency whatever local currency transaction transaction we are called otherwise document currency whatever you want you can note it down document currency and group currency and group currency group currency okay everyone concentrate here, everyone for some information i can give you everyone concentrate here what is meant by local currency what is meant by local currency everyone concentrate here, everyone what is meant by local currency at the time of company code creation at the time of company code creation Whatever currency you listen, listen, everyone, not required to write, listen, listen. At the time of company code creation, whatever currency you specified, whatever currency you specified, that currency is called local currency of specific company or company code. It's called local currency. What is meant by document currency or transactional currency, whatever? document currency or transactional currency whatever what is what is meant by this during the accounting entry postings during the accounting entry postings example my company code currency is called INR during the accounting entry currency during the accounting entry I mean during the accounting entry postings or during the document entry posting whatever currency you specified that currency is called document currency or transactional currency example everyone you can respond once again uh, example uh, i am doing the sales to usa so which currency we need to specify usd, USD. for example i am doing the sales to britain which currency GBP. GBP. Pound. Okay. Great Britain found like that. So go on mute now. So what you people think during the accounting entry posting, whatever currency you specify, that is called document currency. The group currency, I will tell you later. For example, for example, what you people want, GBP, what you people want to understand? So system want to understand actually. If they want to value need to reflect means system want to understand one GBP equal to how many INRs. One USD equal to how many INRs. Exchange rate. It is the rate between any two currencies. It is the rate between any two currencies. 
the group currency will be discussed. It is one is to one methodology. We are maintain one is to one methodology. Okay. <clears throat> Can you please note it down these headings, everyone? First, <clears throat> note it down this exchange rate type. Exchange rate type. First one is called exchange rate type. <clears throat> The next one is called defined translation ratio for currency translation. <clears throat> Define translation ratio for currency translation. The next one, next one, enter exchange rates. Enter exchange rate. Enter exchange rate. These three steps configuration you have to do. Very simple, everyone. We need to maintain. One USD a dollar equal to how many rupees? Why you are comparing with ru rupees? Why? Because my local currency is INR. Why? Because I my local currency is INR. So you want to compare local currency to non-local currency like that. Yeah. Or non-local currency to local currency, whatever. Done, everyone? Noted? Yes, sir. Yeah. So everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Check exchange rate type. So this is the standard step, everyone. So you are not required to change anything here. This is the standard step. So M is the average rate, B for the bank selling. So here you are not required to change anything. Just go and check it out. It is there or not. Don't change anything here. Check exchange rate type, OK? So example, example, everyone, this is the path actually, SPRO. Guys, in case of any doubts, please note it down aside. I will give you time to ask, okay? So SPRO, SAP NetViewer, general settings, currency, exchange rate type. Check exchange rate type. So this is the path, everyone. Let it be, let's go to SAP. Let's go to SAP. So go to SPRO, enter SAP reference IMG, <clears throat> SAP net viewer, general settings, and uh, currencies, and these three things, everyone. One is check exchange rate type. Check uh, exchange rate type. One more is called define translation ratio for currency translation. One more is called enter exchange rate. Enter exchange rate. These three things. So what is that? This is the path actually. SAP net viewer, general settings, currencies, and this is the path. And what is the T code? Additional information, additional information, display keys, and IMG activities. So last four digit is the T code actually. Last four digit is the T code. Okay, last OB07 and OBBS and OB08. Enter exchange rate OB08. Okay, the first one, check exchange rate type. Check exchange rate type. So you just double click on this execute button. Everyone here not required to maintain anything. Just go and check it out. Example here, here M is the average. Sorry. Go up. Everyone concentrate here, everyone. M. M means average rate. Example P. P means planning. 
P means planning. Okay. Then one more also is there actually. It's a B. B boleto bank selling rate. It's a bank selling rate. It's a currency between two currencies. I mean, rate between two currencies. Non-local currency to local currency. Okay, it's called uh, bank selling rate. So maximum in the real time, we are following M actually. M and P. P for the planning, it comes on the CO. Planning and all comes on the CO. So now you need to maintain M, average rate. It is the rate between any two currencies. One is to one methodology. One currency equal to another currency. Non-local currency to local currency. That is my don't change anything here. This is the step is standard. <clears throat> the next one, next step. Next step is define translation ratio for currency translation. What is this? What step we need to do here? Everyone here. M boleto average rate. M boleto average rate. Then USD, SGD, Euro, GBP, this is the non-local currencies. And uh, here we need to maintain, this is the INR, local currencies. So it means here we need to follow one is to one methodology. One is to one methodology. We need to maintain the methodology. Always we need to compare one is to one methodology. One currency equal to another currency. Non-local currency equal to local currency. Okay. So very simple, everyone. Example, next one. Define translation ratio for currency translation. You just double click on this. And click on here. Yes, this is not an error actually. And uh, click on here. Yes. And click on your new entry. Exchange rate type. Type boleto M. M. Average rate. From USD to INR. Example today. From boleto today. What is today date? 30, 31st. As per my system, it's showing 30. My system. Okay. My server is there. Na? One day is back. Here, one is to one methodology. Press enter. One is to one methodology, one currency equal to another currency, USD equal to INR. The next one, M boleto, average rate. Example, SGD and SGD boleto, Singapore dollar actually. SGD boleto, Singapore dollar. Example, Singapore dollar to INR. Today, example, today, one is to one methodology. Press enter. Then one more M uh, GBP to INR. Pound, Britain pound. One is to one methodology. And M, one more EUR, Euro, I mean Euros, Euro. Okay, European Union currencies, Euros to INR. Then it's one is to one methodology. Present, then save. So, M boleto average rate from non local currency to local currency. One is to one methodology. The next one, finally, finally, we need to maintain exchange rates. Finally, we want to maintain exchange rate. What is the T code? T code is called this one, OB08. Finally, we need to maintain exchange rate. So everyone, concentrated everyone, example, one USD equal to how many rupees? How many rupees? One Singapore dollar equal to how many rupees? One Euro equal to how many rupees? And one GBP equal to how many rupees? So we need to maintain exchange rates. We need to maintain exchange rate. Everyone, can you please note it down one? 
please note it down one note everyone put the star and note it down note it down one every uh, star and note it down in real time in the real time in the real time enter exchange rate enter exchange rate t code ob08 enter exchange rate t code ob08 not maintain manually not maintain manually next line note it down next line abapper will write one program abapper will write the program abapper will write the program based on that program exchange rates will update automatically every day why because exchange rate always every day will going to fluctuate in the real time abapper will write one program so our based on our client request so every day it automatically will going to update next line note it down next line note it down as a functional consultant as a con functional consultant as a functional consultant weekly ones monthly ones weekly ones and monthly ones weekly ones and monthly ones need to verify t code ob08 need to verify exchange rate t code ob08 need to verify exchange rate t code ob08 it is updating correctly or not means that value should be updated automatically as a functional consultant will come and verify this all the exchange rates are updating correctly or not in case of anything you can update to you basis consultant in case any program anything they will verify okay in case any wrong wrong value should updated means they need to check the program level Why? Because it's automatically updating. So, as what as a functional consultant, what you need to do, you can come OB zero eight T code and you need to verify. So, monthly, weekly ones, monthly ones. So, you need to verify the exchange rate is updating correctly or not. <clears throat> Everyone, so can anyone please read the note? Note, please. From starting, sir. as uh, from the starting yes ma'am with something with loud please okay exchange rate exchange rate 
nothing but value between any two currencies. If you post any accounting entry, that accounting entry value reflected uh, first as local currency, transactional currency or document currency, and group currency. Uh, OB07 exchange rate type, BBS defined translation ratio for currency translation, OB08 enter exchange rate. Important points, number one, in the real time, enter exchange rate T code OB08 not maintained manually. Second point, ABAPR will write the program based on that program exchange rate will update automatically. Number three, as a functional consultant, weekly ones and monthly ones need to verify that exchange rate T code zero, uh, OB08 that it, that it is updated correctly or not. Very good, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you very much. So everyone, so in the practicing purpose, you people want to maintain manually, okay? So in the real time, not required to maintain the manually, it will update automatically. It will update automatically, everyone, okay? Hey, Krishna, how many messages? So everyone, so it will be update automatically. Anyway, in the practicing purpose, so we want to maintain manually, okay? So example, what is the path? Same path, everyone. Same path. S SPRO, SAP Reference IMG, uh, SAP Net Viewer, and uh, General Settings, and uh, Currencies, this one. Enter Exchange Rate. T code is called OB08. Either you can come to this path or either you can come to this T code. So you just uh, double click on this Execute button. So all the existing values will come. So you need to maintain today value. Click on your new entry. Click on your new entry. And the exchange rate type, example M. Exchange rate type M. Value from today, example today. For example, my as per my system, it's showing 30. Okay, as per my system, it is in 30 actually. It's in my server actually. Uh, I'm taking 30 as per my system. Then from USD to INR. How many rupees, everyone? Today, anyone guess? How many rupees? 81 83. or 83. 83, yeah? 82.30 uh, paisa. 82.30 uh, paisa. 82.30 uh, 82 like that. Guys, actually some people, some countries will follow point and some countries follow comma actually. Like that. So don't confuse for that. Let it be, you can uh, point 30 paisa, enter. Then M, then uh, here today date as per my system, uh, G, B, P to INR. How many hundred? How many rupees? One zero two. One zero two. One zero two point four seven. Yeah. Enter. Everyone. Uh, one thing I want to tell everyone. Uh, as a faculty, when I feel proud, Boleto. When I feel proud, when my student will get many good job. That time, as a faculty, we feel very proud. Um. Actually, what happened, uh, some people from France and uh, UK and USA, they will get very good packages actually compared to our local currencies. Uh, for example, some old videos, the name is called John John Volke, one person uh, sometimes I can call. In the old videos yes. in YouTube, you can check that. Maybe he will get uh, almost one lakh uh, above euros above 1 lakh euros, 1 lakh 30,000 or 1 lakh 20,000, I don't know. Means 1 lakh 20,000 euros into local currency. You can compare with local currency. It's more than 1 crore package. Even in the UK also, in London, some students will get the job. Their package was also more than 1 lakh. 1 lakh uh, GBP, pound actually. 
more than pound a pound value when you compare to local currency it's more than 1 crore okay <laughs> more than 1 crore even recently one student got job in usa uh, one lakh uh, basically for her she is a woman actually for her uh, the company is provided 3000 dollars joining bonus just 3000 i don't want to add the names 3000 dollars joining bonus 3000 into local currency if you compare to local currency how much almost like to do Huh? It's a very big amount. Okay. So, my dear friends, what my intention is if you properly loan SAP, if you properly loan SAP, wherever you go, wherever you go, SAP is there. The SAP will give beautiful life. Okay. If you get SAP job, your life be become before SAP and after SAP. Okay. Guys, one crore package is not a easy. Okay. So that much efforts is required actually. That much efforts is required. Okay. So my dear students, please focus on the subject. Please do the practice. Even in India, even in India, you will get a lot of very good packages. 15 lakhs, 20 lakhs, like that. Okay. And uh, yeah, previous uh, batch student, uh, basically 19.5 lakhs package. Okay. And uh, even, uh, even Basker uh, batch also, they will get very good packages. Uh, guys, so my intention is, so what, why I'm trying this words means, you people also can focus, focus the subject learn in the proper manner then okay then you will get if you know the subject then you will get the job if you don't know subject then <laughs> so try to learn the subject okay focus on the subject please everyone say yes or no will you focus yes no yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. thank you everyone so everyone let it be once again dm then uh, today date Example, uh, one more currency, uh, SGD to INR. Uh, example, maybe 56 rupees, maybe. 61. 61, madam. Yes. 61. And M, and uh, I'm taking the date, and E, U, R, Euro to INR. How much, ma'am? 88.48. 88 88.48. Then click on your save. Okay. Now, uh, time to ask the questions. Tell me, Venkatji, Venkat, say something. Sorry, Venkat. Actually, uh... The one of my friend is asking whether the session is recording or not. That's what I want to convey. This session is recording, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. That's what he's asking question. Uh, one of my asked. So Which friend? Who is the friend? Uh, maybe from our group only. He's asking the same question. So okay. that question on the uh, this exchange base. So. These average rates monthly will upload in the production, right? Yes. So, Vapor so, will write the program. All the values will going to update in the production automatically. Okay. So, not one by one will enter. It's it's it can be update automatically. Okay. 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 All, all whatever the user required. Okay. So SAP will take the, the conversion rates from where? I mean, the monthly rates will change, right? From OB08 only, the uh, conversion will happen. Based on the exchange rate, the convers reports conversion will happen. Document entry conversion will happen. Oh. Yeah. Next one. Sorry. Next question. Um, uh, madam, William, ma'am. Uh, 
uh, some uh, before we mentioned uh, ratio from 1 is to 1 exact what does that mean 1 is to 1 bole to it is the rate between one currency to another currency does that mean 1 usd equals to 1 inr no uh, usd to inr euro to inr singapore dollar to inr china currency to inr like that one currency equal to another currency Uh, sir, extension of the same uh, doubt which was asked by someone else. Uh, like uh, Ababur is writing a program to ma automatically update the exchanges. Means uh, there will be any uh, standard website that will that he will pick and uh, uh, link in the program or how it how it is. What is the basis for the Ababur? Uh, for that you not required for that information. Ababur job will take care by the Ababur. See, okay. maybe let me complete. Let me complete, sir. Please. See, based on the ABAPR program, this value come from maybe uh, other tools. Okay, SIG or something other tools. Otherwise, the value will come from the internet. Okay. So, yeah. what type of program they use as a functional consultant? We not required. Yeah, yeah, not about the program. The source, I am. Uh, ah, source. Is, that's what source means. Maybe sometimes. Maybe sometimes means based on the client request. Maybe mm -hmm. if your client is afford some money, so they will establish any other tools. Uh, say something. A lot of tools is available in the market. So that the value will come from the tools. Otherwise, the value will come from the internet also. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Sir, here you created the exchange rates from <clears throat> India to other country. Uh, suppose <clears throat> if you are doing the, if you are purchasing the material from other country to India, means the configuration. Same, can... say it will go out. If you maintain like this, it will automatically convert, madam. That's not a matter. Vice versa, it will going to convert. The, uh, sir, uh, what about the external rate? Uh, you, you maintain the standard uh, one, you know, Mm -hmm. It is the same or uh, yeah. Sorry, ma'am. Can you speak louder? Here you you maintained external rate standard rate as mm -hmm. M. Mm -hmm. It is the same or how, sir? What you are asking? What about P? What about B? Like that? Huh? Sir, yes, sir. That will come later, madam. Why hurry, hurry? First, you try to understand M. When that situation will come in the future, that time I will explain that one. Please ask me questions. What do we explain? Yeah. Sir, uh, if uh, the, um, if you are doing the sales from India to Sri Lanka, we need to do the configuration steps, sir. The currency remains the same. Sir. Madam, if you follow same way, it will take all like that. INR to USD, USD to INR. Same process. Vice versa also it will take if it is INR to INR, sir, India... Not to... required. INR to INR, not required. Not required. <laughs> not required, madam. Okay. INR to INR, not required. Madam. Okay, sir. Yeah, yeah. Very good, madam. Yeah. Sir. Yeah. Next. Yeah. Thank you, everyone. Next process. Sir, I have done. Ah, no, ask me first. Yeah. Uh, Speak louder. Bharat. Bharat ji. Uh, this exchange rates is client level activity or what, sir? Answer is yes, client level. Yeah. Uh, how it is mapped to company code? If, if, you, company. if you maintain company, if you maintain client level, it will be reflected all company codes by default. Okay, sir. Yeah. Good. Very good question. Guys, the next one. Can you please note it down these two steps, everyone? Define maximum exchange rate difference per company code and company code global parameters. Company code global parameter, including T codes also you can maintain.
then noted not required path just note it down t code that's it define maximum exchange rate difference for company code then company code global parameters ob y6 Done? Noted? Yes? No? Okay? Yes, sir. Yeah. So now you people want to understand what is meant by define maximum exchange rate differences per company code. So you people, T code is called OB64. You need to understand this. You need to understand this. If you want to understand this, you want to say the answer one thing. Uh, what is meant by tolerance, everyone? Anyone take tolerance? Tolerance, Bolito? Controlling limits. Limit. Sacrificing units. Sacrificing units. Sacrificing the value. So there uh, we will maintain one value. Up to that value, uh, we are going to sacrifice the value. Same way here also. Same to same way here also. During the exchange rate, during the one second, it is one second. Everyone, I am back. Everyone, so somebody says, "What is mean by tolerance?" Tolerance means we will set one limit during the payment. Up to that limit, we are going to sacrifice the value. <coughs> Same way, at the time of exchange rate conversion, in case any values will going to difference. 
in case any value will come to difference. So maximum how much percentage you are going to sacrifice. Maximum how much percentage you are going to sacrifice. So here we need to maintain one limit. Here we need to maintain one limit based on the client suggestion. They will suggest you maximum how much you are going to sacrifice for the exchange rate differences. It is at company code level. Okay, so what is the T code? T code is called OB64. <clears throat> OB64. So go to OB. Everyone are able to hear my voice? Yes, no, okay. Yes, sir. Yes, yes sir. Yes. So go to OB64, enter, then click on your position. The company code is called what is our company code? PM10, enter. So here you can maintain a company code. See here, you can read this point you will get actually. Maximum exchange rate differences. Maximum, how much you are going to tolerate. If you read this point, then you can find out this, uh, find out the, understand the process. Otherwise you can read this exchange view. Maximum difference between exchange rate. Maximum difference between exchange rate. How much percentage maximum you are going to tolerate? Okay, so example 10% and 10%. You can ask the client, client will be suggest you. Okay, press enter and save. So one more step, one more step, everyone. <clears throat> one more step. The very, very important step. Company code global parameters. What is that? Everyone, example, everyone. Example, Rajesh. Sai Rajesh and Rajesh are uh, Bhaskar. They joined yesterday class. They joined yesterday class. They don't know what we discussed in the previous classes. Concentrate here, everyone. Concentrate here. Example, one new person joined today class or you are joined into any new project. You are joined into any new project. So you want to analyze, everyone, concentrate here, everyone. Very important. Very important, everyone. You joined into any new, new project. That project already existing, you joined in between. So your team leader will give in some company codes, PM10 and PM20. Example, the list of company codes. He said, you can analyze this company code. Then now you need to understand, for this specific company codes, what is the global parameters they maintained? Like what is the chart of accounts? What is the posting period? What is the physical year they maintain? What is the field status group they are following? What is the company of this specific company course? Like this type of things they want to understand. In case you are listening the class from the starting onwards, you know what is the chart of accounts we created? What is the glow? I mean, what is the field status, physical year variant, posting period variant, company, uh, credit control area, you know very well. But somebody joined in new in this class. They want to analyze for this company course what we created. So where they want to go and check? They want to go and check in the this T code. T code is called OBY6. Otherwise, you can go to this path also. Otherwise, you can go to this path also. So SPRO. Financial accounting new, financial accounting global setting new, then global parameters per company code, enter global parameters. Either you can go to this path or to, okay. So let it be, let's go to this path and this T code. 
<laughs> everyone either you can go to this t code or this path okay uh, i'm going through path example so go to spr go enter sap reference img select your uh, finance or not fin financial accounting new which one financial accounting global setting new and uh, global parameters for company code enter global parameters so this is the path financial accounting new financial accounting global setting global parameter for company code enter global parameters so you just to double click on this execute button and uh, click on your position enter your company code pm10 so you just double click on this PM10, otherwise select and display. Otherwise you just double click on this. So all the details will come. So this is the company code. For this located in India, this is the local currency. It is located in Vijag or Vishakapatnam. For this, this is the chart of accounts. And this is the company. This is credit control area. And this is the FM area. Physical year, this physical year, field status variant, posting period variant, maximum exchange rate. So this is the details we maintain. Then you can allow negative posting permitted. You can click on negative posting permitted for this company code. Negative posting means, example, in my uh, store, we do not have inventory, but we want to post some dummy invoices negative postings then activate cm cash management activate cash management then business area wise financial statements then propose physical year okay you can activate these three four then remaining will come later not required now then click on your save Then one more, double click on PM20, same thing, and activate these four things. Press enter and save. So guys, uh, this is the global parameters actually. One more uh, thing also will come. One is the uh, document type and number ranges. That is also global parameters. So document type and number ranges will come later. Will come later. Maybe after five, six classes here it will come. Okay, here it will come. And uh, tomorrow onwards, tomorrow onwards is the very, very, very important class. Which classes we are going to start? Tomorrow onwards we are going to start new GL concepts new gl concepts everyone put the heading of new gl cons new gls and note it down one by one put the heading of new gl and note it down one by one tomorrow onwards very very important class everyone Note it down one by one. The first one, first or second, we have four to five points is there. Uh, first one is called document splitting. One, two, three, like that you can note it down. Document splitting. The next one, next one, next one, parallel accounting, next one, parallel accounting,
the next one profit center accounting profit center accounting profit center accounting the next one next one business area and segmenting reporting business area and segment reporting business area and segment reporting so this is enough some more things will come later can anyone read the note what is the new GL concepts? Can anyone? Remaining thing will come later, not it but now. Yeah, I'll read it. New GL concepts. One is document splitting. Second one, parallel accounting. Third, profit center accounting. Fourth, business area and segment reporting. Reporting. Okay. So, anyone? Any doubts? Any questions? Sir, exchange rate one is to one. It means one one INR equal to one USD means USD eighty two rupees. Hmm. We are maintaining exchange rate. Hmm. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thanks for joining. Let's meet tomorrow. Bye, everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Sir.